Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at card fictions from Pitt Hartling. All right, so why are we spending the time looking at magic books? Well, because magic books are awesome. And it seems whenever I do a magic book review, a lot of you say, hey, do more. So this is me doing more, okay? So uh, I think people are just kind of discovering that you can only go so far uh, learning from DVDs or learning from downloads or learning from YouTube. Uh, there's just so many other avenues to grab information from and books are a wealth of information. Books are awesome because they're not electronic, right? You don't need to plug them in, they're not gonna die. Uh, they're totally portable and they're totally quiet. You know, you could take a magic book to church. I mean, if you wanted to, uh, don't, but you could. Uh, I mean, they're, they're totally portable. They're great reading. You can take them anywhere and you're gonna learn invaluable information. I wanna introduce you to some good books, books that should be on every magician's shelf and this is one of them. All right, so if you don't know who Pitt Hartling is, he is a magician out in Germany. He's a really good writer, really good author, and he's kind of like, He's the card magician's favorite card magician. Hmm, maybe. Uh, he's intelligent, he's innovative. His card magic is very mature. It shows very mature thinking because what he does is he mixes a lot of these classic methods and he, and he, and he does it like a chef, like he mixes them beautifully. It, I think it's also, beside from this book, actually, aside from this book, if you can find his other book, Little Green Lecture Notes, definitely gonna pick that one up too because it's a classic and it is pretty much sold out everywhere. All right, card fictions, what is it about? What's it about? Uh, it's seven effects right here on the cover. It says seven performance pieces with an ordinary deck. So there you go, seven tricks, seven routines with an ordinary deck. It's called card fictions, fictions, because these tricks look like fiction. They look impossible. If you were to watch these performed, you would say, wow, that's impossible. And that's what real magic should look like. All right, so what's inside? What's in the table of contents? Uh, well, pretty much, like I said, it's seven effects, so there's not a lot of table of contents, not a lot of words. Uh, you do have uh, finger flicker, that's the first one. Uh, finger flicker is a trick that you do with only one finger. It's one of the coolest demonstrations of precision and skill with a deck of cards. Uh, there's Master of the Mess. Master of the Mess is a fun triumph effect. Uh, there's Method and Style and the Performing Mode, okay? Uh, there's Color Sense. Uh, that's a, a trick where you kind of feel the colors through the table. Uh, high Noon. High Noon is a climax to a Paul Harris effect called Reflex. Then there's Cincinnati Pit. Cincinnati Pit, uh, it's, a, it's a poker routine where you stack four perfect hands of poker in less than 10 seconds. Then next is inducing challenges, triple countdown, unforgettable. Uh, unforgettable is a memorized deck routine. And then his last word and some closing remarks. All right, so what's it cost? What's it cost? It's $34. $34, I would say, is definitely on the higher end for a smaller book. This is only 90 pages, okay? 90 pages, but $34 because it is a classic and I think a lot of people want it, so it is in high in demand, okay? It is hardbound. The book, though, is really beautifully put together. It's really nice page stock, so really thick photo quality stock paper, and you're getting high quality black and white photographs, so no drawings, all beautiful uh, shot photographs of Pitt Hartling, he's kind of like in a white shirt, and all black and white pictures, uh, beautiful splash pages. Graphically, it's a beautiful book to read, and I think other people who make magic books should definitely pick this up too to look through it just to see what a well, produced magic books should look like. All right, what do I think? What do I think? Like I said, beautiful black and white photographs. I love that. Beautiful layout, high gloss stock paper. Uh, the tricks in this book are real world workers. Real, there's no fluff, okay? There's no fluff in here. He didn't, it's not seven tricks and four good ones and three bad ones. There's all seven tricks are real world workers, but they will require some practice. I'm not introducing these books to you uh, as easy. Uh, these are books that require practice. They should be on your shelf because they are master level. You're gonna sit under a master and learn some awesome card tricks. Uh, probably need a table for a lot of these. These are like table hopping tricks, so you probably need a surface. Uh, so if you're a magician that table hops or you use you know, table surface or you have a close-up pad, uh, this would be a good uh, book for that. I would only say this is this is for if you are a serious student of card magic, okay? If you are a serious student of card magic, if you want to up your game, if you want to get better, if you want to start doing 
the tricks that the big boys do, this is it. This book should be on your shelf. Also, Pitt Hartling has a website, so if you want to learn more about this book or look at the table of contents, you can visit card-fictions.com. All right, so that's my review of card fictions from Pitt Hartling. I got my copy from penguinmagic.com, and I would suggest if you want to purchase yours, you head there as well. Thanks. Bye.